This is the second video lecture in our major world religion series and we'll cover Buddhism. On this slide, you will see the sacred symbol for Buddhism, the Dharma wheel, which we will talk about in greater depth in an upcoming slide. Buddhism originated in Nepal, a country on the northern border of India approximately 2,500 years ago. Buddhism began with a young prince named Siddhartha Gautama, who grew up living a life of luxury in his palace. In his mid-30s, he became aware of the suffering most people endured in their lives and gave up his life of wealth and privilege to become a wandering nomadic monk who traveled across northern India in search of a way to end suffering. He lived a life of self-denial and meditation for six years, yet still hadn't found the answer of how to end suffering. After six years of searching while meditating under a Bodhi tree, he achieved enlightenment and found the answers he had been seeking. Today, the Mahabodhi Temple, the location of Buddha's enlightenment, is a pilgrimage site. Enlightenment in the traditional sense, or Theravada understanding, translates to be awake, meaning that a person becomes awake to the reality that surrounds them, to the things we normally wouldn't be able to see or be able to see problems clearly for the first time. It is important to note that the Buddha never specifically taught what enlightenment was or what it was like for him when he became enlightened. He only taught people how to achieve it for themselves, giving people the tools to become enlightened. Buddhists believe that when a person becomes enlightened or awakened, they will have a perfect insight and understanding of the Four Noble Truths and will know how to end their suffering. If a person achieves enlightenment during their life, they will then attain nirvana in death. Nirvana translates to extinguish, and more specifically, it refers to the idea that in nirvana, a person no longer has any desire, hate, or ignorance. Nirvana is seen as liberation or freedom from the cycle of reincarnation that Buddhists believe in, and therefore it is liberation from suffering on earth. It is a state of perfect peace and happiness, when a soul will no longer have any desires but be completely content. Nirvana is not a physical location. It is outside time and space to Buddhists. It is an elevated and higher state of existence. This makes it markedly different from the Christian or Islamic notions of heaven and hell. The foundational principles of Buddhism are the four noble truths. These are one, the truth of suffering or dukkha, which means that suffering is a part of life and we must accept that. Two, the truth of the cause of suffering, or samudaya, Buddhists believe that human desires are the cause of suffering. For instance, the desire to have more material objects can lead to debt, family breakups, and so forth. Or the desire to drink could lead to unemployment, family crisis, and health problems. Three, the truth of the end of suffering, or naroda. Buddhists say that your suffering will end when you stop chasing your desires which you can achieve by following the Eightfold Path. And four, the truth of the path that frees us from suffering, or Maga, the idea that the Eightfold Path is a cure for all suffering. The Dharma wheel pictured here is used to depict the steps in the Eightfold Path. Buddhists believe that if they follow the Eightfold Path, they will be liberated from the painful cycle of reincarnation and earthly suffering. The path can be broken down into three broad categories, which are wisdom, ethical conduct, and mental development. The steps of the Eightfold Path are right view, or knowing the truth, right intentions, or freeing your mind from evil, right speech, or saying nothing that hurts others, right action, or working for the good of others, right livelihood, or respecting life, right effort, or resisting evil, right concentration or practicing meditation, and right mindfulness or working to control your thoughts. Now, something you have probably noticed by this point that makes Buddhism very unique among the major world religions is that it is non-theistic, meaning that Buddhism does not revolve around the worship of any particular god or deity. Buddhism is a self-focused and introspective religion where followers must achieve enlightenment and nirvana by following specific steps by themselves, not through any supernatural being. Today, Buddhism is the fourth largest religion in the world with about 350 million followers worldwide. 
and most predominantly practiced in Asia. Buddhism is unique in the United States in that the majority of followers are not of Asian descent, but are white native-born citizens. This is in sharp contrast to Islam or Hinduism in the United States, whose followers are typically of Asian or Middle Eastern descent and most popularly practiced among immigrant populations. There are two main branches of Buddhism, Theravada and Mahayana. Both branches agree on the major tenets and core teachings of the religion, such as the belief in the Eightfold Path. Theravada Buddhism is considered the original form or the most traditional. It is most popular in Southern and Southeastern Asia. Theravada Buddhists focus more on self-enlightenment and completely reject the concept of a creator god in any form. They believe in finding enlightenment without gods. Mahayana Buddhists also include several branches such as Zen Buddhism and Tibetan Buddhism. It is more popular in Northern Asia, including Tibet, China, and Japan. Mahayana Buddhists focus on helping all beings achieve enlightenment, not just the self. They also have a stronger belief in deities or celestial beings that can interact with humans. However, these are not the same as all powerful beings such as those in theistic religions like Christianity, Hinduism, Judaism, or Islam. Therefore, some Mahayana Buddhists will leave offerings in temples or at statues, and they have a more expansive idea of worship than Theravada Buddhists. Here is a pie chart depicting the religious breakdown of the world. Currently, Christianity is the largest world religion with Islam following. However, it should be noted that Islam is the fastest growing world religion and is expected to take the first spot as more followers are gained. Hinduism and Buddhism follow after you account for the non-religious populations, such as agnostic and atheists. Lastly, Judaism is a tiny percentage at just about 0.2% of the world's population. One celebration important to Buddhism is Visak Day or Buddha Day, which is on the first full moon in May. This holiday celebrates the birth, enlightenment, and death of the Buddha.